time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. You aren't expected in the small salon, sir. You aren't expected in the small salon, sir. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. I've got a question that might seem a little bit strange. I'm listening. If I said, go beyond the nightmare, would that ring any bells? Hmm. No, means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? My mother used to talk about it, in the figurative sense, probably. We still need to understand what she was referring to, though. If I find something, I'll let you know. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. <laughs> I better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back, or it'll cost you dearly. Calm down, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And what has Monsieur Peru done to once again provoke someone's anger? Uh, we don't really know just yet. I get the feeling it won't be long before it gets out. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well... Let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? Oh, no. The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if... It Gracious. Oh, God. Hmm. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous. Bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. If I remember rightly, what Mother told me one night King Louis was secretly also part of the Order. I wonder what impact his death will have on us. Sad news, sir.
With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Well, let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? Why? Is, is there something you particularly wanted from her? I, um... No, not specially. My questions made him feel uneasy, but he's keeping his emotions under control. Your mother and I used to often speak together. I have rarely met someone so learned. To tell you the truth, I was about to make a deal with her. Did she tell you about our arrangement? How could I know about that? I mean, we haven't seen each other for several weeks. Indeed. I was simply hoping to pursue the transaction that we had agreed on with you. Too bad. Hmm. I shan't keep you, Monsieur de Richet. All right, then. Thank you. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I must go now. I'll see you later. with five circles on this chest. All right, I've retrieved everything. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Chinese coin, recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cash. M 
Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Does expression go beyond the nightmare mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for Frey's book, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Meaning? This gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. His undeserved titles, more than ten in just four years, and each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. Would you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? A little Carmelite water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency.
Mr. President, what do you think about your counterpart, Duke Manuel? I'm very surprised he was able to accept Lord Mortimer's invitation, given the political situation in Spain. What do you mean? The situation is ready to explode with France over Catalonia. Well, the Duke must have a darn good reason to be absent and come here, mustn't he? When Lord Mortimer invites you, Louis, you come. It's always in your best interest. I wouldn't say that personally, but... Go beyond the nightmare. Does this line remind you of anything in particular? You've caught me unaware here, Louis. Let me think about it a second. No, nothing comes to mind. Sorry, Louis, but I am unable to help you. Mr. President, can you tell me a little more about the coming conference? Of course, Louis. That's why we're here. Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory regularly organize meetings like this to put forward major projects. What do you mean by major projects? I'd prefer to let Lord Mortimer explain that to you, Louis. Let's say he brings together influential people in order to consider possible actions to undertake to guarantee the future of nations. Do you know the theme of the conference? Not in the slightest. None of the guests know the theme before arriving. But you'll see. Everything will turn out fine. Don't worry. Well, thank you for your time. Don't mention it, my young friend. Regarding your question on the nightmare, don't hesitate to question the others about it. Maybe one of them knows more than I do. That's a good idea. Thank you once again. I'll see you in a little bit. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Circe turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. This painting has caused some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? Ah, Louis. Just the man. Good lord. How did the king come to be executed? I would think that the order would have intervened. I invite you to speak about it with my mother as soon as she reappears. Uh, is there any news of her? I... well, I hope it won't be long before I find her, your eminence. Louis. I'm counting on you. If you don't find Sarah before my departure, I must ask you to give me back the letter I gave you. Well, don't worry about that, Your Eminence. Now you wanted to speak to me. If I say the nightmare to you, does it make you think of anything? Hmm. 
Your question is strange, my son. Difficult to say. Could you at least tell me a little more about the context? Think of a place and tell me the first thing that comes into your mind when I say the nightmare. Mm -hmm. uh, let me think. I'd say uh, Lord Mortimer's favorite painting on the wall behind his desk. You know, that painting caused quite a stir when it was exhibited. It is titled The Nightmare, and it shows a woman lying down with a creature sitting on her, and in the background, a horse. <laughs> I don't know if it will be of any help, but I can't think of anything else. You never know. Thank you for that, though, Your Eminence. Oh, I gotta go and see it just in case, though. I'm sure a man like you is in the circle of trust. Would you know what the conference that Lord Mortimer mentioned is going to be about? Not I'm really sure a man like you is in the circle of trust. Would you know what the conference that Lord Mortimer mentioned is going to be about? Not really, my son. Well, be it Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory, uh, we are never informed about the theme of the conference before it begins. I was wondering what to think of that Manuel Godoy. He is reputed to be a very ambitious character at every level. But his fate is unwavering. He is a staunch defender of the church. You can believe me. As to his faith, I have no doubt. However, his ambition seems to surpass his morality. And I hope that it will not solely the crown. You can say that again. The blue eyes of the latest Infanta, Maria Isabel, have left everyone wondering. Rumors always accompany men of power, Your Eminence. Naturally. But the number of awards and titles granted by the Queen during these past four years leaves little doubt. So, Godoy really is this out-and-out -out rascal who uses his charm on the Queen. Thank you for everything, Your Eminence. I shan't take up any more of your time. You are welcome, my son. I will be seeing you, Rui. A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. Ah, Francois Premier, receiving the whole the song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything.
golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid.
So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? No, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. Let's take a closer look. Touching by the shape, I'd say the Criollo cocoa beans, the chocolate of the Mayas, the rarest of the beans. Some even say they're an aphrodisiac. When a product is in fashion, people attribute all sorts of virtues to it, not to be given to animals. Dark chocolate beans, very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Hmm, might come in handy. Aha, uh -huh. I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. <laughs> 